Hello there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this presentation is titled An Unbelievable Big Hole in Airbus Protections, Airbus Industry Flight 129. Now, the French test pilots were early on very vociferous in praising the protections that the Airbus uh, flight control system had. Of course, uh, many holes were found in these protections, unfortunately. I don't think it's possible to build an aircraft that you can't find a pilot that can crash. But this hole in this protection was so egregious that I, I had trouble even believing that this could possibly exist. And I'll, I'll explain uh, what happened here in, in just a moment. Now, Nick Warner was Airbus chief test pilot. Nick was a, a British pilot, and Nick was a little more uh, pragmatic, a super uh, good guy to fly with. We, I, I first flew with Nick in uh, October 16th, 1992. It's interesting on this certificate that the, uh, the actual uh, year isn't listed. But um, this is next to my bar downstairs, uh, so I can remember to have a toast to fallen test pilots. Now, in addition to flying the 340 with Nick, I also flew the 321 with him, and that's Nick uh, standing next to me there. And I flew that on September 21st, uh, 1993, uh, back when I was uh, chairman of the Alpa National New Aircraft Evaluation and Certification Committee doing a number of test flights on uh, commercial aircraft. Now, the... Uh, Articles that I would write uh, involving a flight test of uh, commercial airliners were featured in the Airline Pilots Association uh, magazine. This is one of the uh, the earliest ones of February 1994, where I'm uh, talking about flying the 330. And there's the spread in the magazine with a picture of a, a very young me over there. Now, this flight and the accident occurred on 30 June 1994. There were seven people on board, including Nick and Mike Chaos, who was a air and terror training uh, captain. And all seven, of course, were uh, fatally injured. Now, the uh, flight had been going on for about 55 minutes. Nick had performed uh, two of the uh, takeoffs with the simulated engine failure. And uh, the co-pilot now, Mike, was going uh, to fly one of these profiles. And uh, they uh, were moving uh, ballast. They have uh, a bunch of tanks uh, with ballast in them uh, to adjust the center of gravity. And they're moving it to the most rearward position, which is the most critical course, because that gives you, with the CG at the aft limit, it gives you the uh, lowest rudder moment arm. So you have the, uh, the least uh, rudder power available in that situation. And what they had inadvertently done was they had left a altitude of 2,000 feet in the uh, mode control panel. Now, uh, when you bring the autopilot on with that altitude set in there, the autopilot is going to attempt to capture it. Well, they didn't, they didn't want that. They wanted the aircraft just to be able to fly on out. So this, this was a, a a major part of the accident, uh, two major parts. One of them is is uh, the way the flight controls are set up. Now, so what happened is they're taken off, and the the board criticized. Um, uh, they brought fatigue into the issue because uh, Nick had had a very busy day. He had um, had a, a A321 uh, demonstration flight. He supervised a simulator session. He had two meetings, including a press briefing, and now he was coming uh, to do this test flight. So Nick was probably tired, and um, they uh, criticized him for probably not giving uh, as thorough of, of a briefing as he could. But um, uh, I thought Airbus tended to pounce on Nick a little bit on this accident because um, uh, they're they're very uh, protective of the aircraft i mean if if you criticize anything about the aircraft uh, like i did about their design and that it, it's almost like you're spitting on the french flag they become <clears throat> very uh very protective but okay let's get back to the test mission here so mike's doing the takeoff and uh it, it could have been partially due to the center of gravity being back because the farther the center of gravity is back, the more responsive the aircraft is going to be. That's why you put, uh, for aerobatic aircraft, you have the center of gravity as back far as you can. It gives you a better um, aggressive type of responsive uh, ability of the aircraft. So uh, that may have led to the problem because when Mike uh, rotated, he was supposed to rotate to 14 and a half degrees. He... Um, 
rotated quite aggressively and he pitched up to over 25 degrees. Well, Nick was slightly distracted during this whole maneuver because he's down there pulling the engine thrust back and he's failing one of the engine driven hydraulic pumps so you have the 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 full test condition set up uh complement of you know loss of thrust loss of hydraulics although all the flight controls are powered so that really should make an effort but you have to simulate uh, how things would would work and in the process what had happened this of uh, course aggressive pitch up the more aggressively you pitch up the more uh, lead the altitude capture is going to give you. And the downfall in this protection system, and I don't think it's been um, addressed to this day, is once you have the altitude captured by the autopilot, all the protections go out the window. There is no stall protection, no uh, VMC protection, none. The, the whole operation is set on maintaining this calculated profile up to do the level off so they uh they pitched up aggressively mike pitched it up aggressively but then when the engine went down and the protections went out the window that's when the problems developed now they uh, got less than 100 knots of airspeed. VMC was 118 knots. And of course, when you go below VMC, you get the, uh, the roll because the rudder is not able to overpower the thrust from the operating engine. And of course, Nick was distracted. And somewhere in this time, he, you know, the head comes up and it's like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Well, the aircraft has started to roll. It rolled um, over on its back and the nose pitched down 15 degrees. And this was a unrecoverable situation and uh, they impacted the ground. They were not obviously able to recover from this situation. And here's some footage of the uh, the impact that was on um, Toulouse uh, TV. And here's some more showing uh, the wreckage, the aftermath of the wreckage on the Toulouse airport property. So this was an unfortunate incident it killed a total of seven people and airbus has had in my opinion somewhat of a lax attitude of how well their protections will protect the aircraft and like i said I, I was amazed that this hole existed that once it computed the profile that um even if you lost thrust or had any other attenuating factors the autopilot was locked into this profile and there was no protection against uh, VMC, stall, or anything. And to have that into design, and as far as I know, this has never been corrected. It is just a uh, an egregious deficiency, in my opinion, of the aircraft. It should protect you. It's supposed to protect you in normal law, which they were in. It's supposed to protect you from stall and VMC. And this is a situation where it does not. Thank you for watching.